that defined the sta statue's silhouette. Occasionally, a shaman visits a vigilant zinge, dropping colorful gems into its gullet. This is said to re-energize the still-beating jackal heart and ensure that it protects the descendant for years to come. So, what does that book tell you? Well, that means that this zinge right here needs to collect these gems. Now, not only does he need to collect these gems, I don't think it matters on the order. I don't want to say that it does or it doesn't because I don't know. Uh, let's see here. So this is according to what the, uh, what it says. You must win the thing's heart, apparently, before he will give you any gifts. So he's supposed to give you gifts. Uh, to do this, you must feed him flawless gems. So we have about, I think we have more than enough for to do our testing. If not, we can always go to the house and get more. So here it is. So we have flawless diamonds, flawless emeralds. Yeah, I think we ha should have more than enough. Uh, these must be rubies, uh, sapphires, should probably just keep my hand on the mouse anyway, uh, emeralds, topazes, diamonds, and pearls. Cool. So drop, so you have to shift click it so you can drop only one at a time, I think. Uh, five of each of all six types of gems are on the ground near the zinge. These must be 30 individual gems, not groups of them. Then pick up caps lock. Interesting. Three of each of all six types one by one and drop them into the mouth of the zinge, totaling 18 gems. A musical note will sound after each drop. Now... From the pile on the floor, continue adding any remaining gems to the mouth of the zinge. You will need to add as few as two and as many as 12 more gems before you get a success pop-up message telling you that you have won the zinge's heart. So let's go do this. Let's start with the diamond first. I want to see if it matters in what order you choose. I'm gonna say no it doesn't i wonder if you can get lucky and find a spot where you can just stand and you can automatically just drop i'm hearing ticks but i'm not is it trying to tick for a bomb is there a bomb in this game uh it's not going in curse this pearl this is why i play diamond okay Okay, that's one. Going down the list <laughs> one at a time. All right, no, Ruby. There we go. All right, no. You were my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite Ruby Zinge. Got it with your life. Nobody will ever think to look in there. <laughs> Nobody will ever think to look inside of its stomach. All right, Sapphire. I'm just waiting for the tick, and then that's when I drop the next one in. I wish it was more of like a E and then it's like, this thing waits patiently. What would you like to do? Give it diamond or give it pearl kind of thing. But no, apparently we have to do it one at a time. <laughs> It's fine. All right. Oh, the reason why I actually wanted to save beforehand is because I actually like the look of this area without it messed up. That's why I went back and made sure nothing got ruined. Okay. So I think you have to... I think it said, like... You have to give at least three of each. And then it's like, it changes depending on how many you need after that. So it's fine.
And then we'll go through the, the cool things, the, the gifts that it gives. Okay. Alright. I'm getting a little scared because I'm just like, oh man, is it gonna like... Like, is it gonna get angry at me for some reason? Okay. No! Dive in to get in there. There you go. I'm gonna, uh, like, I, watch, it's gonna happen that my inventory is gonna shift and it's gonna move me to the flawed stuff and I'm gonna be like, oh, this is good, and then all of a sudden it just attacks me because it's... Because it's... Because I accidentally gave it a flawed one instead of the flawless. A little bit of a picky eater, this one. Wants all the flawless gems, but yet... <laughs> it's probably not gonna give us anything good. I wonder if they're all leveled by any chance. Is it in? No, it's not in. Alright. There you go, buddy. Alright. Uh, drop this. Yeah, ow! Alright, there you go. Oops. Sorry, death perception is not really that good. <laughs> Alright, so this is three of each now. <gasps> yes! So it's only 18 men? Okay, that's not what this says at all. Five of each of all six types of gems on the ground near the Zinge. These must be 30 individual gems, but I didn't give it five of each. I only gave it three. Dive into the mouth. Totally 18 gems. A musical notable sound after each drop. I didn't hear a musical drop. Unless that's what that ding is, but that's a ding. I don't count that as a musical note. <laughs> Uh, now from the pile on the floor, continue adding any remaining gems to the amount that you will need, as many as few of two of each. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, so now, it will not bestow gifts to us. So, if you want to get a cool... I don't know what damage 30 means, but okay. So we just need this. So we give it a flawless sapphire. Whoops. A flawless sapphire. Oh! It will give us Zinja's Malice. Th according to this, it's supposed to just damage 30 and fire 20. Okay. But what does it actually do? Okay, it's raw damage is 30. And it's fire damage is 20. Okay. That's what I meant by damage 30. Wait, it's just 32 here. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Interesting. So these ones have to be very precise, though. So I hope I have enough. I have enough for that one, as long as it doesn't require that. Pearls, I have that, so it's okay. And done. Okay, so I have enough. Okay, so let's do the pearl one next, and then we'll go for the one that's more extravagant, if you will. Or not extravagant, uh, more sort of pickiness kind of thing. For ones that require more of the gem question. That's pearl. And we need another one. I thought it would just automatically add it to your inventory, not just actually stick it in its mouth. On its mouth. I don't want your zinge saliva over my stuff. So this is supposed to give you a Welkin Stone. That's a very good way of getting a Welkin Stone, by the way. Uh, now if we go and drop in three diamonds. I'm just going to do this. That's two. 
and then that's three. So that should drop a Vorla stone for us. Hey, there we go. All right, now we're gonna get to the more picky parts of it. I actually wanna know something real quick. Can you skip it for the last one? Cause that's gonna be very nice if you can skip it. Oh, this one's actually kind of cool. I wonder if you can actually interchange it. But if you drop three flawless rubies, don't get me wrong, I am going to try interchanging it. Three flawless rubies. I'm going to get a successful one, and then I'm just going to do the quickest way of just doing it. Okay. And then the final ruby. Final ruby. Okay, how does this look? What? So they wanted you to do that for the arrow and the the stones then. Interesting. Okay. So you can use three flawless rubies and emeralds. I'm gonna find out later because I wanna actually I'm curious about that. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna save beforehand. So we can save now. We have the favor, so let's see if we can just skip. So you have to use 10 plus topazes. It counts as a one. No. Okay. So it counts as one. That's interesting. Okay. That's kind of sad, but it's fine. Uh, so let's try interchanging it. Uh, let's try one ruby. All right. Let's see. So this could be kind of good if you're in a pinch. You only have like two of one and one of the other, right? So let's see here. Can you interchange them or does it just reset itself? Because if it resets itself. Okay. Oh, 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 it accepted it. Okay, so in theory. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, in theory, this should give us a, whoops, this should give us a 2,000 gold. No. I'm confused. So this should give us 2,000 gold? Okay, so you could put, like, you can invest it then. Let's see if it put it as an investment then. Like, uh, it took the one emerald and it's like, okay, I'm storing this as a... At one. So you can use it later. Because it still took three em. So if my theory is correct, if I throw this in, I should get another two emerald. gold. Exactly. Okay, so it's so you can't interchange it. That's kind of weird. I would have put it interchangeable, but it's fine. So you can so you have to have three flawless rubies or emeralds. Now for the final item that this can actually give you, this is going to take a while. Uh, is ten flawless topazes. Oh my word. <laughs> Now, I understand that this was, I think, before either before OBSC integration, or not OBSC integration, um, still used to saying Pokemon Home integration, uh, still, like, it's before OBSC probably came out, uh, this mod was in the works, and they already kind of designed this script, uh, like, before it came out, or before it became more mainstream to have OBSC as, an, as the normal extension kind of thing. But still, like, I would have really loved if it detected a stack. But then again, it's fine. Uh, judging by what I'm reading right here, uh, it is not even worth throwing in. Uh, 
and I'll throw and I'll also show what happens if you do not throw something that he likes as well. Because I'm actually kind of I I don't remember ever doing it though. Actually, maybe at first I did because I didn't understand how it worked. Nope. I want the topaz back. There you go. There you go. Alright, let's get it in here. Oh. Sorry, you're jeweled a little bit. Here you go. No, get it in there. There you go. One more. And there you go. Perfect. Oh, nope. You drooled a little bit again. There you go, buddy. And we should get the malice. All right, so this mace right here, it looks like a Daedric mace, to be fair. Uh, a Daedric... Okay, now I'm getting really confused on these damage numbers. What is wrong with this thing? Okay, so... This walkthrough is saying that... Uh, you need... Like, it's, it's right on how much you need. Don't get me wrong. It's weird on the damage numbers. I guess they didn't use a maxed character to get the maximum number that it can go to. 